got kids in your class, some kids give them a playing card, teachers give them a playing card. We have 50, more than 52 people here, but if I had the ace of spades, I'd call it the ace of spades. If that's your card, you're on deck. So again, it's very random. I'm not saying, Tina, tell me the answer because everybody else gets to shut down in the room because Tina's got to make the answer, so it's very random. That's a great strategy to keep your kids engaged. They never know, but I don't put kids on the spot. I give them an opportunity to talk first, then they have an answer because they could use their partner's answer as well if they don't have one, okay? When we ask for volunteers, then we're on the spot. Heather G, who's Heather G's partner? Heather G's partner, tell me about the time that she said something was not audible to her. What was Heather's response? Excellent example, excellent example. Elderly person without the hearing aids in, very good. William, William, who's your partner? Oh, sorry, Bill. Who's your partner? Uh, Ryan. Ryan, tell me what Bill said was the time he heard something that was not audible. Bill was at a concert with his friends. Could not hear his friend at the concert, excellent. So that's just mixing up that. Again, I want to make sure my partners are listening because if we don't have accountability for those partners, guess what? They don't listen to each other, especially as we get older middle school people. You guys know this. So we've got to give them an assignment. So sometimes we're going to mix it up, and I'm going to say, tell me what your partner said.